welcome to the channel. Uh, so nice to have you here. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short video just talking about something that I'm really passionate about, which is mind mapping and, and kind of how I've been uh, exploring the atelier and how that works with the Supernode. Uh, for this particular video, I'm going to use the, the device that I use daily as a driver, which is the A5X. Uh, it's my favorite Supernote device. Uh, the Nomad is on a little bit of a walkabout with my oldest son, who's an engineer, and he's going to be putting it through its paces. Uh, he's also left-handed, so he's going to have a unique perspective on how he uses this in his workplace and with the information that he deals with on a daily basis as a mechanical engineer. And hopefully, as soon as we can, after he's had time with the device and, and to go through those uh, different use cases, we're going to have a live stream and we're going to talk about it. Talk about his experience, my experience, how he uses the device, how I use it, and maybe be able to share and get some information from you all on how you're using the devices as well. That's what's on the agenda. But for now, let's jump into mind mapping. We're going to have a nice conversation about it. Again, it's going to be a short video, and I will see you when uh, we're all done. All right, so here we are with my A5X, and I just wanted to show you a little bit of how I'm using this to mind map uh, with the Atelier function. Uh, that app is a lot of fun. I think it would be even more fun if I was an artist and if I was someone who uh, drew a lot or was good at drawing or sketching. Uh, it's really a well-developed tool for that. Um, again, as someone from the outside who doesn't do a lot of that, some of the reviews I've seen, some of the things that it's able to do with the pen tools and the different pieces it is really good. Now, if you want to see some of that, then obviously I'll put some details down in the description below. Otherwise, what I would use this for, and what I have used this for here recently quite a bit, is the mind mapping function. So I like to mind map. I'm not someone who's a very linear thinker. I don't get along well with outlines. I use them, but they're not my main method of kind of thinking through a problem or brainstorming initially. I really prefer a mind map approach. Now, for those of you not familiar, uh, mind mapping, also called cognitive mapping, is a way for you to look at the connections between uh, different things and also to kind of allow yourself to flow through and think about all of the potential connections to one specific item at a time. So it helps you focus, but also look at the big picture. Right now, you'll see I'm in the Atelier app. It's currently set at 100%. What I like to do is go ahead and expand that out. And you can do that a couple of different ways. You can do the, the pinch to zoom, and you'll see it's up to 150. Or you can use the little zoom icons to control that as well. Sometimes that's a little easier, especially when you're looking to be really specific at a 10% increment. I'm going to turn this. Uh, this does not support the landscape orientation. Uh, I tried that earlier, and it just left the toolbar where it is. If I try to put pressure on the toolbar and move it, it's not going to work. Uh, so that's probably a limitation for the system currently. You can hide the toolbar and bring it back, but at the same time, it would be nice if this was able to rotate and have that toolbar in a different location, maybe along the side over here or on this side. Maybe it does that in the A6X too. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't tried that functionality there because again, I like a bigger canvas, especially when it comes to something like this. Just for this example, I'm gonna use all of the tool or several of the tools here, not all of them, just to show you kind of how I would think through a certain problem. For example, the other day I was looking at a website and trying to think through how would I mind map that uh, to get the flow right. Now you can do it a traditional way with just an outline and homepage and structure, but for me sometimes it's a little bit easier to do this. So for example, I would start with the homepage. 
and then I would take and I would circle that with a darker line so that I can really see that stand out and pop. And then now on the same side or with this other tool, I would start thinking through, okay, well, what would be a good uh, subsidiary page? Maybe you're talking about services. So you've got services there, you've got about here. There we go. And so now let's say under services, we've got consulting and workshops. About, let's say you've got history and staff. So now what do we want to do? We want to connect those. So you draw your circles. And you'll see I've got them a little bit too close together in some cases, but this is just a rough sketch. And now I've got those connected to the different components. What's nice about this is now I can take and I can shrink that down. So I started with that large canvas to be able to go ahead and, you know, kind of map the whole thing out and I can resize as I need to. One other thing that I wanted to demonstrate really quickly. Now, let's say we wanted to make this a separate layer. I'm off just a little bit on this. There we go. Say we want to take and move this and we'll cut. And then we can go over here to layers. And we can create a layer. Now on layer two, we are going to insert that. And what you'll notice here when we go back to the layers is we can toggle that on and off. Now again, this is not the finished product I would show to someone in the boardroom or in a meeting room, but it gives you an idea of some of the power. So you can say, okay, we're talking about this topic and you're going to unveil one piece at a time. You start with the central concept, you show them layer one, and then you go back and go through to layer two, three, four, five, six. I think you can do up to seven layers on this, and it can be a really, a really useful tool, uh, especially when you talk about projecting this up to the screen and running this during a meeting. It's pretty neat. Now, one thing, and I probably want to talk to to Kit, uh, Bet's Masters, about this, because he mentioned something about being able to blend layers. And I'm not sure if this is what he means as far as blending and whether that really means merging. So I'll probably tag him in the comments on this video just to see what his reaction is. So my my understanding here is obviously you've got the different layers that do different things and you can then draw on those layers and add components. But when you're done, so let's say we have these two layers and we're ready, we're finished with the presentation, we're ready for this to become one thing. There's this little button right here that shows a stack of layers. Now this one moves the layer up and down. This one actually combines a layer with anything beneath it. So if I decided, okay, I don't want to have two layers anymore, I can just, boom, hit that, and now I have one layer again. It's a really useful way to, to kind of think through things and maybe sketch them out uh, so flow a little more regularly. Now for mind mapping, that may not be as useful. I think it kind of would be to show the different stages, but for drawing and for sketching, I can see it being extremely useful for having your foundational layer, having your uh, lines on top of that, and having maybe some more details put in. And when you get to the point that you're ready to be done, you can actually hit that and all of those collapse onto one another and become one layer again. Now, I may be way off base here, but I just think it's a really neat tool to, to be able to have and to be able to use.
All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you again for, um, you know, kind of indulging me in this little exercise. I really enjoy the mind mapping process. I've loved it ever since I first discovered it and could put a name to it uh, when I was in my adult uh, ed master's program. And of course, then it was called cognitive mapping. And the idea was to really get inside your head and understand how your brain processes information. It's a very good adult learning tool. It's also a very uh, effective way to be able to get thoughts that may not seem organized uh, connected to one another so that you can then build that outline or that proposal or write that paper, whatever it is, in an effective way. So thank you again. Uh, please, if you like the work I do, uh, the content that I provide, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'd love to have you. Please comment. Uh, one thing about this community that we're building I think is really important is there are a lot of comments and questions, and I try to answer those as quickly as I can, uh, recognizing that I have a, a day job and another day job, so I both work full-time and I teach. Uh, at the university level. So I have a lot going on, but I really enjoy making this content and engaging with all of you. So again, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and I will see you again soon.